On the left is the new Gatorade stainless steel insulated water bottle. It holds 26 ounces and has a nice rubber grip cover on it. And on the right is your classic 32 ounce Gatorade squeeze and squirt water bottle. So let's take a look and see which one's better and what they can do. And here is the Gatorade stainless steel water bottle spec sheet. So there's rubber skin around it to make it grippy. There's a nice drink through cap that flows a lot of water. It's vacuum sealed stainless steel and you can take the top apart following these instructions if you need to clean it. Here's how long it takes to dump out one cup of water. So you can see it flows pretty fast. Then on the bottom it says you can put it in a dishwasher but they recommend hand washing, whatever that means. And it says use only for cold, not for hot beverages. So this isn't going to be for your coffee in the morning, I guess. The lid has this sturdy loop on it that you can use to hang it from your backpack. And then the top operates like this. You just screw it one way and you see it drop down like that so the water can get out and then you turn it the other way and that seals it up. I've loaded each bottle with 10 ice cubes and filled the rest up with water. So we're gonna do a comparison here and time it and just let them sit out in direct sunlight for a few hours and see which one stays cool in the middle of the day in the sun. So here we go. Okay, fast forward to four hours later, roughly. We're gonna open it up and stick a thermometer in and see just how hot or cool each one of these Gatorade bottles is. So first, starting with the metal insulated Gatorade uh, bottle, thermometer says 38.3 degrees, and you can see there's still ice in there. So sitting in direct sunlight, it is able to retain ice for four hours plus. So that's really good. And also the rubber coating sitting out in the sun isn't too hot. It's not melting off and it's not burning my hand, which I think is important if you're gonna use this thing outside. Now, if we go to the classic plastic uh, Gatorade squeeze and squirter, put the thermometer in it, 98.4 degrees. So depending on how you look at it, if you wanted to bug out and use that as a water heater, like put it out and to create warm water, it would work for that, but uh, for Keeping it cool, you want to go with the insulated water bottle. Um, I found that if I put six ice cubes in the Gatorade Metal Insulated Water Bottle, it lasts a full eight-hour day, and the ice is melted off. So you have cold water all day, and you get to drink it all because there's no ice left. So I would recommend six ice cubes if you're using it at the office.